Alright guys, welcome to another Paint the Moon Vaporizer review. Today we're going to be checking out the Galaxy by Candy Pens. So let's get into it. So this is what the kit is going to look like when you buy the Galaxy kit. Now pop it open, and inside you'll have your tank, your battery, a charger, and a dabber. As well as an instruction manual, which I have currently uh, misplaced. So, it's a pretty standard setup, just like any other, you know, typical uh, pen vaporizer. Uh, you have a mouthpiece, kind of like a chamber piece. And then, or not, it's sort of like a chamber sort of piece. Just it's basically like just a hollow tube of metal. And then you have your atomizer. And this atomizer, I'm not sure if you guys can see this very well, uh, but this atomizer is uh, the real reason that this pen is so is really just gotten getting great reviews. It's a dual coil quartz atomizer, and the flavor is just fantastic. I can't even really describe it. It's it's better than almost any vaporizer I've tried. It's on par with uh, the quartz coils from Source, which are usually my favorite, like, go-to. And it has a really good capacity, too. This can hold uh, almost, it's like about, like, 0.3 grams is usually good. I tend to float around 0.2 or so, just as I like to use it all in one kind of sitting. The only real downside of this kit is the battery you get is somewhat lackluster. It's small which is good for portability, but it's very low battery life. I really only get about like two sessions out of this battery life. Like I tend to vape a lot of concentrates, but considering I only get two sessions compared to other kits where I'll get like five or six, like eh, it's pretty low. The way this battery works is there's three time settings. You can see this is, this light is red right now. Click it three times, it'll blink green and that's the second setting. Three more times, and it's blue, which is the highest. I tend to float around, uh, green usually is my preferred voltage setting. I think that blue is just a little, it just burns all your material. And red just, you know there's stuff left even after you've been vaping on red for a really long time. So I like to just go straight to green and just kind of float around there. Unfortunately, I don't have any concentrate currently to show you how this vapes but Vape Critic has a really good video of this exact pen uh, not this specific pen in my hand but the same model and in his video he, he has a really he does a really good job of um, showing vapor production and stuff so I definitely check that out if you want to see how this uh, produces uh, lastly I guess I'll go over uh, charging um, and maintenance so charging this battery, it, it charges really quickly because it's so small. So you, you can realistically charge it in less than 45 minutes um, from pretty much dead. So that's really nice. And as far as maintenance goes for this unit, uh, you really just have to, um, when this di this coil gets really gunked up and it's just not really working right, you just throw it away. You buy a new coil. Um, and you just keep uh, these two pieces. When you get your new coil, just attach this on there. If you want, you can clean these with rubbing alcohol, uh, if you have a lot of reclaim and stuff on there. But that's, that's pretty much it, as far as this vape goes. Um, as always, we're uh, on Facebook and Twitter, as well as Reddit and FC. I'm using it Paint the Moon. Uh, feel free to drop us a line or leave a comment if you have any questions, or if you just want to tell us some stuff. I don't know. Anything, really. We're just here to talk to you guys. Um, but... Please like and subscribe, and thanks for stopping by.